This video is for informational purposes only, and it does not replace medical advice from a healthcare practitioner. This video was made by two medical students in conjunction with local healthcare practitioners and researchers. Please discuss any questions you may have about your pregnancy or RHIG with your main healthcare provider for your pregnancy. When the topic of RHIG, also known as ROGAM, comes up in pregnancy, patients and their partners often have many questions, such as, what is RHIG? What is it made of? How does it work? In this video, we will briefly discuss important topics for people who are RH negative and pregnant, including what blood type an RH factor is, how RHIG works, who should receive RHIG, and the risks associated with taking RHIG, as well as the risks of not taking RHIG. At the end of this video, we will briefly discuss the process of receiving RHIG in Northern Health, a health authority in Northern British Columbia. What is blood type? You may have previously heard about blood types A, B, AB, and O, and that for each of these, you can either be positive or negative. These categories represent specific characteristics of your blood, and this does not change throughout your life. The positive or negative indicates whether you have something called RH factor. Your blood type is important because if your immune system comes in contact with a different blood type, such as during a blood transfusion, it may create something called antibodies. Antibodies are part of a normal immune response. For example, you would produce antibodies when you are fighting a cold, but sometimes your body produces antibodies when we don't want it to. For example, this can happen in pregnancy. Since your baby's blood type is determined by both you and your partner's genes, your baby may have a different blood type than you do. Specifically, your baby may be RH positive, even if your blood type is RH negative. This means that your immune system may react to your baby's blood. If your baby is RH positive and you are RH negative, a process called sensitization can occur. What is sensitization? Sensitization is when your blood mixes with your baby's blood. For example, when you are giving birth. Your body produces antibodies when it is exposed to the baby's blood, and these antibodies will stay in your system. If you become pregnant again, the antibodies can negatively impact the health of your next baby. This is because your immune system wants to protect your body and it will recognize your baby's blood as foreign. In addition to giving birth, sensitization can also occur with other events during pregnancy, including vaginal bleeding and amniocentesis. Vaginal bleeding during pregnancy, known as antepartum hemorrhage, may be the result of pregnancy loss, ectopic pregnancy, or problems with your placenta. Amniocentesis is a medical procedure sometimes performed during pregnancy. If there is vaginal bleeding during your pregnancy, please talk to your healthcare provider, as this suggests that something abnormal may be happening. These antibodies against your baby's blood can impact your future pregnancies in a number of ways. If these antibodies attack the baby's blood, this can lead them to have heart problems, anemia, which is a lack of oxygen-rich blood, and jaundice when your baby's skin turns yellow. This can even lead to brain cell damage if severe. What is RHIG? RHIG, which is also known as ROGAM, anti-D, or immunoglobulin D, is a type of antibody. RHIG is obtained from the part of human blood known as plasma, and it is given through an injection either into your veins, IV, or into your muscles, IM. Although RHIG comes from human blood, donors are strictly screened. In Canada, it has never been associated with bloodborne infections such as hepatitis B or C. How does RHIG work? To understand how RHIG works, it is important to know how the normal immune response would occur. When the body detects foreign blood cells, it will initiate the following response. First, it will label the baby's red blood cells for clearance by producing antibodies. Second, it will remove the labeled red blood cells. RHIG prevents the body from forming antibodies against the baby's red blood cells. It does this by marking your baby's red blood cells for clearance before your body can. The cells are subsequently removed by the body's natural immune response without the need to form antibodies. This blocks the sensitization process. Although RHIG acts on your immune system, this doesn't decrease your ability to fight illness. Who should receive RHIG? RHIG is indicated for any RH-negative pregnant person who may have an RH-positive baby. 
it is recommended at 28 weeks as well as at other time points when sensitization may occur. Because RHIG has a limited duration of action, it is recommended that all RH negative mothers receive RHIG regardless of the RH status of the baby. Receiving RHIG will not cause any harm to you or your baby. What are the risks of receiving RHIG? Side effects from RHIG are rare and if they do occur, they are usually mild. For example, patients may experience swelling near the injection site, headaches, or chills. Some people may experience an allergic reaction in the form of a rash. A severe allergic reaction known as anaphylaxis can also occur, but this is rare. If I choose not to receive RHIG, what are the risks? It is your choice whether or not to receive RHIG during your pregnancy. If you choose not to receive RHIG, your risk of sensitization is significantly higher during your next pregnancy. As previously mentioned, sensitization can lead to negative effects on the baby. The risk of complications tend to increase with each RH positive pregnancy you have. How does the process of receiving RHIG work in Northern Health? First, your healthcare provider will confirm that you are 26 to 28 weeks pregnant. Following this, you will be sent to a lab where a sample of your blood will be taken to confirm your blood type. You will then be asked to visit transfusion services to pick up your RHIG and take this RHIG to your main pregnancy care provider so that they can administer the injection. It is important that you discuss any questions you have about your pregnancy, blood type, and RHIG, including side effects, with your main care provider for the pregnancy, such as your family physician, midwife, or obstetrician. Thank you for watching.